Well, the beer boom, it's getting bigger. And new at 6, we're learning another West Michigan school is jumping onto that train. They're going to train students. That's right. Grand Rapids Community College will soon begin turning out the next generation of beer brewers with a certificate program. That's thanks to a state grant. And 24-Hour News 8 Steve Kelso shows us how this is all going to work. GRCC gets access to more students and local brewers gain access to a more highly skilled workforce. In Beer City, craft is king. Founders is probably the best local example of the runaway success of the microbrew craze. From less than 20 employees a decade ago to almost 300 today. The growth surprises even one of the founders of Founders. One of the biggest challenges in the beer industry today is finding the right people. Dave Engbers has been working with GRCC to develop the new program, and the school becomes one of several in the state to now offer certification in the beer-making process. It is a three-semester program. It's 22 credits, and then two primary new courses that are being offered, that are being developed, that are based on the skills of brewing beer. Many of the core classes, like chemistry and biology, already exist. Combining them into a beer centered study will take place as part of the Secchia School for Culinary Education. The program will allow more options than just beer making upon graduation. Uh, but also understand where beer uh, falls in a restaurant, um, how it accompanies the menus, uh, what is it, um, how it contributes to the revenue in the bottom line. Meanwhile, Founders is poised to more than triple its beer output by the time phase two of its current expansion is complete. As employment expands, so too will the expectations placed upon new employees. We want people to be prepared, and uh, the craft beer industry looks really great from the outside, and it is, but it's not for everyone. First graduates of the program could find their way into employers as early as 2017. In Grand Rapids, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.